My next guest starred as the first African-American Marvel TV show superhero in the Netflix series, Luke Cage. <laughs> well, now he's starring in the new faith-based film called Breakthrough. Hey, let's talk about this film, man, because mm -hmm. this film, man, this is quite a departure from what you normally do, mm -hmm. man, your other roles. Did you come from a faith-based background? Was your family into faith? I did. I grew up in the South. Uh, my mom, you know, big, big believer in faith. My, my sister teaches Sunday school. I grew up in the church. And, you know, this is a movie that my mom can go see, and I really, I really am happy about that. Something she could bring her church to see, something she could do on a <laughs> yeah. Sunday. Yeah. There's not a lot of things she'd leave the house for, yeah. you know? Ain't that the truth, man? You want to do something yeah, that you, your mama can see. Exactly. As an artist, I want to challenge myself, but at the same time, I want to make mom proud. And I want to have something that she would normally go see anyway other than the fact that her son is in it. Faith, man, is a really incredible thing to have, especially when you're a parent. Now, you're a father. Yeah. You've got two daughters. Mm -hmm. uh... What do you love most about being a father, man? You know, honestly, uh, they say you know, a, a, a man who has daughters will, will always eat steak. And they say that because if you take care of your daughters, they will take care of you, and I believe that, you know? That's a true statement, man. Yeah. What scares you most about raising daughters, man? I think growing up in the culture of masculinity, I think sometimes we forget what it's like to be on the other side. And until you have daughters, you don't really see it. Yeah. You know, and so if you send a guy out, I mean, you, you feel like he's going to learn and, and he might have some bumps and bruises. And he might find out the hard way. But with a woman, a daughter, a girl, you feel differently. You, you don't feel <laughs> like it's the same even playing field. So I want to think to myself that, you know, yes, I'm going to instill her with some, some beliefs. But at the same time, I got to reconstruct the way guys think because guys are going to be the problem. It's not going to be her. I need to make sure she's protected from the guys. So I'm going to keep her as close as I can, you know, yeah. close as I can. Well, I got to tell you, Mike. When they come ring the doorbell and you answer it... Oh, I'm answering the door, buddy. Oh, it's going to be nice. Oh, it's going to be, yeah. yeah. It's going to be nice. I'm, I'm a nod when I open the door. I'm like, yes, sir. What's up? <laughs> What's good? What's good? All right, man. You and your wife been together 17 years, and mm -hmm. you both work in this business. Yeah. How do you guys make it work? It comes down to the basics. You got to make a phone call. You got to get on the phone. You got to con connect at some point during the day. It's easy for the day to get away from you. I mean, you get up, you're busy from the morning to the next day, and you literally from one thing, one, one hour to the next, you realize time is flying. You're on phone calls, emails. You got to call. You got to check in. You know, you got to check in. That's, that's really what you got to do. Boy. You got to check in. I think you already know this. Uh, for the people out here who think marriage is 50-50. Oh, no, no, no. It's not. No. It's 85-15. <laughs> Which part of 85-15 do you have, Mike? Well, I definitely got the short end on that one. I definitely got the short end. I think 85 okay. might be, that 15 might be generous, Steve. 15 to generous? 15 might be generous. Yeah, because we, we operate most days on 12 to 9%. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, basically, what do you want, and I'll take what's left. If you offer and defer and listen, these are three things. Sounds easy, but they're not that easy. No. You know why it's not easy, though, Mike? It's we have this coming. I'm gonna act like they ain't here. Okay. You know okay. why? You know, <laughs> you, Mike. Mike, you know why that's so hard? Mm -hmm. Because they crazy. <laughs> and look, they all smiling and crying. And nobody's saying no. No. Not one person said Mike, no. They all, all know like... it. They going, yeah, yeah. yeah. All of them, yeah. Yeah, but you like it though. <laughs> but mm. you like. <laughs> Come on and get some of this crazy. Come on. I told you I was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, thanks for stopping by, Thank man. You, man. Great guest, you, man. man. Appreciate you, Black. Appreciate it, man. Hey, folks, uh, go see his new film. It's called Breakthrough, which is out now in theaters. We'll be right back. Mike Coach, everybody. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're going to enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.